First, I want to mention the words passive income because it's come to my attention that many people think that passive income means no work. When in fact, if you look up the definition of passive income, it actually means minimal labor to start or maintain. When I think of passive income for digital products, it means work up front, but minimal labor to maintain and continue getting sales. So with all that said, I want to share with you my experience getting consistent passive sales with digital products, how I'm earning $17,222 a month from this, and how you can get started and do this too. Okay, so what are digital products? Digital products are a product that you can sell online that are digital. They're not tangible. They are digital. Think PDFs, eBooks, courses, memberships, things that you're selling online that are 100% online and digital. And how I got started selling digital products was my very first business. I was a photographer. I was a professional photographer for over 16 years and I was able to grow a successful studio really rather quickly. Other photographers saw my success and they started asking me how I did it. So I started out more traditionally doing things like coaching and workshops, but I quickly realized that I was trading more of my time for money and I didn't have more time. I was already capped out on time. So when I heard about digital products like memberships, courses, eBooks, workshops, things like that, I knew that was the answer. I could take that same information that I was teaching in person and I could package it into a digital product to sell it online and help an unlimited number of people and make an unlimited amount of sales. And I have sold just about every single digital product under the sun. I have had courses, I've had memberships, I've had eBooks, I've made toolkit, I've sold mini courses. I've sold audio files. There are so many digital products that I have sold. In fact, I have a list of all 54 different types of digital products and you can download that completely for free in the description below now. And over the years, I'm actually up to doing over $9 million in revenue to date. And I want to clarify that is revenue because whenever I share that people in the comments are always like, she doesn't have $9 million. Yes, that's true. I do not have $9 million in my bank account because that is revenue and you have have expenses and you have to pay taxes and things like that. And that's also not how much I made in a year. That's how much I've made in my career while doing digital products. So I just want to be clear about that, but that's still amazing money. I've been very thankful and grateful and I've been able to put away a lot of money into things like our retirement account, investment accounts, things like that. So I love digital products and that's why I'll never shut up about them. Okay, with all that said, now let's dive into how you can get started with digital products and bringing in your very own stream of consistent passive income. And before we get into the step-by-step, -step, I want to let you know that I have a new free on-demand training all about how you can create and sell your very own digital products for consistent passive income. So go ahead and check that out. Register for your free seat in the first link in the description below this video. Okay, so if you want to earn passive income from digital products, then the very first thing you're going to want to do is choose a niche and grow a following around that niche. So ask yourself, what are things you're good at? What are things you like helping other people with? What are things you like researching, learning? learning about and talking about for long periods of time, make a list and then just choose a niche. Your niche is probably going to evolve over time. So don't feel like you need to get this perfect from day one. In fact, that's what holds a lot of people back. So just simply choose a niche and start growing a following. Now, there are lots of different platforms to grow a following on, but YouTube is my absolute favorite. And I have a lot of other videos on this channel with YouTube tips. So if you want to grow a YouTube channel, be sure to check those out next. And in addition to growing a social media following, at the same time, you're gonna to wanna to grow an email list. Email marketing is 40 times more effective at making sales than social media alone. Email marketing is where I make the majority of my sales and that's where the passive income comes in because you're able to schedule and automate weeks, even months worth of emails so that you can create content, send people into your email funnel and let that do the selling passively for you. Okay, tip number two is once you have your following and your email list and you've gotten that to 200 email subscribers or more, you're gonna wanna send out a survey to your email list so you can start to learn what are your followers' most painful problems so you can align that with what you know how to teach to come up with what digital product that you should create and then you'll know that people will actually buy it because you've surveyed them and you're not just creating what you think people will buy, you're creating what people are saying that they need help with and what they're saying they'll actually pay for. 
This is huge because I see this all the time where people are just like, well, I want to teach this and I want free time and I want that and I want that. And that's great. And growing a business does give you that freedom. But in the beginning, you really need to put your focus on your following, helping your following, figuring out what their struggles are and how you can help them overcome those. And over time, that's going to give you that money and freedom that you want. But especially in the beginning, if you're only focusing on what's in it for you, it's going to be very, very difficult next to impossible to grow a business that is all centered around how it's going to help you. You need to think about how you're going to help others with that business. So once you've surveyed your list and you've figured out what their number one most painful problem is, you're going to want to take that and teach that in the form of a digital product. Now, there are a lot of different types of digital products. So you're going to want to look at what's going to be the best fit for you. So for me, I chose to do a membership for Freedom Creator Club because I was teaching a lot of information that needs to be updated often and things that that people are going to want to continue learning for years and years. For example, YouTube. You don't just grow to a thousand subscribers and you're like, I'm done. YouTube is something that you are going to learn and grow continuously. So I thought that would be best taught inside of a membership versus you can say a course where you start here and you end here and then you're done. You take the course and then you're done taking the course. You've learned what you needed to learn. And then there's, of course, ebooks and workshops and audio files and templates and so many different types of digital products. So you just really need to look at what's the solution you're providing and what type of digital product is going to be the best vehicle to deliver that and get your ideal client a result. Then, of course, you're going to want to actually create the digital product. So if you're doing templates, you could do something like use Canva and do a share template. If you're doing an audio file, you can record it and store it in Google Drive. If you're doing a course, you can record all the videos and make the assets and put them in system.io. That's the software I use to run my whole business. And there's a link to a free account below. If you're doing a membership, then you can create and upload the assets in something like school, S-K-O-O-L. That is a new software that I've started using. I'm absolutely loving it for my membership Freedom Creator Club. The next step you're going to want to do is actually launch your digital product. And this is also where it comes in handy to have that email list. So do not skip that step. You are going to make the most money from your email list. Not to mention, if your social account gets shut down, you still have access to those followers via your email list. So launching a digital product for the very first time should be as easy as writing and scheduling some emails to your email list. That is what I would highly recommend. And then of course, creating something like a checkout page where people can actually put in their information and their payment information so they can pay and receive your digital product via email instantly. And again, for that, I use system.io and you can get your own free account in the link in the description below this video. Now, after you've successfully launched your digital product, that's when you're going to want to set things up so that you can make continuous sales on autopilot. And this is where a lot of people get tripped up, but it's actually probably simpler than you're thinking. What I do to get consistent passive sales is more about me consistently creating content and consistently driving traffic to that sales page or checkout page. Because if I'm consistently sending people to view that page, then a percentage of those people are going to buy and that's how I'm going to continually get sales. But if I'm not continually driving traffic and getting new eyeballs, that's when your sales are going to decline. So it's really all about you being consistent with your content and consistently driving traffic to that checkout page so you can keep getting those passive sales. And of course, it's also about you consistently consistently sending those followers to your email list so that things like your automated email sequence can do all the selling for you, which is one of my absolute favorite ways to make sales. And again, if you haven't signed up for my brand new free on-demand training all about how you can create and sell your very own digital products for consistent passive income, be sure to check that out and register in the very first link in the description below this video. Now, let me know in the comments below, which of these steps are you at? Are you at the step of growing your following or your email list or figuring out which digital product to make? Or maybe you're at the point of making it. Maybe you're at the point where you need to sell it. Let me know which of those steps you're at in the comments below. Now that you know what I find to be the easiest form of passive income and how you can sell your own digital products passively online, you might be wondering how I've made millions of dollars in revenue with digital products to date. But how do you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this video next here because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's going to be way more powerful. See you in the next video.